The two Republican members of the four-member Wayne County Board of Canvassers, Monica Palmer and William Hartman, who voted to certify the Wayne County elections after an initial deadlock, now want to rescind in their vote. Monica Palmer now fully believes that Wayne County should not be certified. Both the GOP members of the board have now signed affidavits to rescind in their vote. When the Board of Canvassers of Wayne County met yesterday, the two GOP members did not want to certify the result because there were a number of out-of-balance recordings. There was a huge outcry against the deadlock because the GOP members were okay to certify Livonia but not Detroit. Livonia had more variance in the results than Detroit. And people were just able to fill the blanks that were left by the two GOP board members. Livonia with higher variance was okay because it had large number of white voters. Detroit with lower variance was not okay because it had a large number of black voters. They simply deduced that it was an act of racism. After the outcry and strong pushback from local communities, the two GOP board members of Wayne County reached a compromise. They wanted the results to be audited. But Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson later said that the Wayne County board's decision is not binding. We can argue why she had to go down that road and it will of course be a valid discussion. Now, the two GOP canvassers are citing the secretary's decision to say the audit is not binding as the reason why they want to rescind the votes. Can you change your vote after you have voted? Can someone who voted for Trump on November 3rd sign an affidavit saying that they want to rescind their vote? Not possible, right? I think the affidavit is more of a PR exercise by the two and that is exactly where their hypocrisy starts to build to the next level. According to Monica Palmer, this is what she said and I quote, we always knew that the margin of victory was such that it was not going to change the result. We are not delaying the inevitable. So she does not want to certify the results but also says that the margin of victory is so big that it is not going to change the result and she is not delaying the inevitable. Is that what Mr. Trump thinks? That the margin of victory is so big that an audit is not going to change the result? Then why did he and many Trump aides start talking about GOP appointing a slate of pro-Trump electors from Michigan as soon as the Wayne County deadlocked. So none of these statements reconcile with each other. None of these actions make one believe that the audit was at the core of the refusal to certify Wayne County results. That still does not explain why Monica Palmer said she is ready to certify everything but Detroit. Can she explain what this is? This is William Hartman, the other GOP member of the Wayne County Board of Canvassers posted on Facebook. So Michigan, we are number one in voter fraud. If what he said is true, why does Trump did not win a single lawsuit in Michigan? So we have to conclude that Mr. William Hartman, the member of the Board of Canvassers in Wayne County made a statement in Facebook that will be inadmissible in court, meaning he lied. Now both these GOP members are acting as holier than though. They only wanted an audit and they know it will do nothing to change the result. According to these two holier than those GOP members, they won't certify Detroit because of 0.1% inaccuracy. Yes, that's the exact number. The votes were off by 0.1%. So toss out 99.9% .9 of votes because it's 0.1% is off. It's like giving a student 0 because he scored 99 in the test. Out of the roughly 250,000 votes cast in the city of Detroit, there were only 357 votes that were out of balance. The two GOP members knew fully well that it will only be a matter of time before that number comes out because as soon as the fiasco erupted, that was the number I started searching for. And I'm sure there will be plenty of other people who would have done the same. So they knew their actions would come under intense scrutiny and that is why I think Ms. Palmer Monica Palmer changed her stance today and said she does not believe it will change the outcome of the election. For those of you who want to know how votes go out of balance, I would like to walk you through the, walk you through the comments made by Detroit Mayor. So this is what he said. I want to take a minute to discuss the out of balance precinct, which was the biggest subject yesterday that was the pretense for blocking the certification. The idea that out of balance precincts reflects any problem with the voting is utter nonsense. At the end of the night, you add up the number of people who are reported in the poll book as having voted and the number of ballots. If they are off by one, 
That's called out of balance precinct. They put the ballot through the machine. They may think the scanner caught the person's name, but if it didn't, it doesn't record at the end of the night. You could have 541 ballots and 540 scanned names. It just means the bar scanner missed. It does not mean there is anything wrong. So I will repeat it one more time. The GOP members did not want to certify roughly 250,000 votes cast in Detroit because 357 votes were out of balance. The reason is very simple. Biden won Wayne County by 320,000 votes. His margin of victory in Michigan, the entire state, is 148,000. That is why stopping the counting or stopping the certification of Wayne County is so important for the Trump campaign. It is not because of the purity and the sanctity of the counting process as Monica Palmer and William Hartman wants us to believe. This will not be the last time we are hearing about Michigan. The state board will have to certify the results on November 23rd. And it has two GOP members and two Democrats. Guess we should expect some fireworks. I would love to be wrong on this one, but we will have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. It will be of great help to get some traction for the channel. Thanks again.